All right, recording. Hey guys, it's Mel and Monique. Monique. I think you guys all kind of recognize us and we're here to give you an intro for Tree of Life. So how this first recording is kind of going to go is I'm going to give you a rundown about the recruitment process, um, how you're going to get your supplies to you, um, uh, how to get in contact with us to join the Tree of Life program, as well as we're going to give you a rundown of what Tree of Life is, for those of you who haven't taken it before. And then Manik is kind of going to walk you through an example of a tree that was done the last time we ran this program, just so that you guys get a better idea as to what exactly your tree is going to look like at the end, possibly, because you guys could possibly, you know, draw a tree differently or have a better idea as to how you want to place items on your tree. But nonetheless, she's going to walk you through an example of what um, the tree looks like from the Tree of Life program. So is it good? Are you okay if I start perfect, with recruitment? Perfect, perfect. Okay, awesome. So um, I'm not sure if you guys saw our live feed. Me and Debbie did go live on Thursday at two o'clock of last week. So um, we did mention that the Tree of Life was coming and to um, how to recruit. And she kind of told you guys that you guys just call the St. Mary's home phone number and talk to Kim at extension 713 if you'd like to um, take part in the Tree of Life every week. And uh, you need to do that because we need to make sure that we get the supplies to you. So you, for instance, don't have a poster board and arts and crafts supplies at home. We want to make sure that you are able to take part in the program. So we're going to provide you with the materials, but we need to get the materials to you. So what we've thought of is um, we'd like for you to contact us. Um, if you're part of Food Bank, and if you are, and you're interested in the Tree of Life, then we're going to send you the um, Tree of Life program supplies with your Food Bank. Now, if you are not involved in Food Bank, then we've um, arranged to have the supplies delivered to you at a different time in a different way. But don't worry, you can still participate in the program. Um, we'll just have to get you the supplies uh, a different way. All right, so please text the Mighty Text phone at 613-298-0311. You can email us, you can call Kim at extension 713, or you can just call and talk to reception and uh, they'll walk you through the process of how you're gonna get your supplies. All right, you wanna add anything to that? Let's go, All right. I'm ready. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so, I gave you guys a quick run through during um, me and Debbie's live chat about what Tree of Life is all about. It's a very artistic program. It's a very free program. It's a very fun program. I love um, facilitating Tree of Life and I think Minik does too. So basically what it is, is it's a simple exercise for reclaiming your identity and direction in life um, through a story. Um, you're going to create that story by drawing a tree and we're going to um, guide you through drawing each component of the tree week by week. So basically it's a visual example in which a tree represents your life and the various elements that might make up the past, the present, and that might make up the future. So we're trying to make connections between um, perhaps some of your hopes and your dreams and how those might be connected to say your past, a past experience, past values, um, all of that sort of stuff. So by labeling these parts of the tree, um, you're not only going to begin to discover or perhaps rediscover because you may have discovered it already on your own, um, aspects of yourself shared by the past, but you can then begin to actively cultivate your tree to reflect the kind of person that you want to be moving forward. So that's kind of what I was touching upon when I was talking about um, future. So we are gonna look at the future. We're also gonna look at um, storms in your life. So those would be kind of like your challenges. And then we're gonna try and make connections to your past and your present, and um, maybe take a look at how you deal with your storms based on the connections that you've made to your past and your present. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything else do you want to add to um, 
the explanation of the introduction to the Tree of Life? Not really. Um, can I just add that uh, although it's, um, it's, it's an art um, and craft uh, piece, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to have any talent no. whatsoever, because um, I don't really have that much talent in, in arts. Sure I enjoy you do. It. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But it, I don't, it's, it's not my strength. Um, however, it's whatever, whatever you make it, it is yours. And um, it doesn't have to, it ha doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be colorful. Mm -hmm. It only has to represent you. And um, I find it very um, relaxing to color or draw. And it just, it, your mind just wanders and um, you actually are going to remember things um, that you you don't realize. Um, for example, um, I mean, at my age, I'm not talking about female, but at my age, there's a lot of, I'm very forgetful. I, I forget I a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> she knows me too well. Mm -hmm. But doing this, um, I, I, I really dove into my childhood and remembered things that I didn't even I didn't even realize that I that I recalled and I remembered and it's it's um, it's it's rewarding it's it's um, what am I trying to say Mel it's you rediscover it's enlightening yeah is that a word enlightening okay it, it is, is it is you you rediscover that's exactly what i was trying to say she knows me she knows me well so yeah what yeah. about those connections when we yeah. for example we start our tree by doing the roots um and the ground so when we were doing your roots and when we kind of moved up into the tree mm -hmm. did you kind of make the connections between stuff in your roots yeah, that's and exactly, stuff in that's your exactly branches and your happens. trees. That's exactly yeah. what happens. Yeah. And it's going to happen for you as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that you are um, that you are as eager to join in as we are of having you. Mm -hmm. So do you guys want to see a tree? Um, so disclaimer, I made this tree. This is my tree. Here, bring it a little closer. I will. I'm going to move over here okay. because we need to socially distance. We okay, so you stay over there. I will. Don't come any closer. I'm, I'm going to move this way. Yeah. This way. There we go. See, see, we're doing it. We're doing All it. All right. So look at this beautiful tree. Now, um, like I said, you don't have to be talented like uh, this young lady because. I don't know what talent she doesn't have, just saying. Oh. But um, this is absolutely beautiful and it represents her so well. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's bright, it's got colors, it's got um, music notes, which I absolutely love. Um, but it really describes what life experiences she's had mm. and what she hoped to become and what she's becoming which is absolutely fabulous <laughs> thank you so like i said you don't have to be as talented as mel um but we've seen some um yeah. amazing things. amazing work amazing work and um, it comes from you right yeah and, and it's yours whatever you make it mm -hmm. yeah and you don't have to share it no we would like you to those who are comfortable um can share it and um uh it's whatever your comfort is so so if you could, please remember to reach out to us. Let us know that you want to join in on session one, which is happening um, on Tuesday, May, I believe, 12th. Um, we'll be recording session one, and we would love for you to have 
all of the um, supplies needed so that you can take part. However, these are going to be pre-recorded. So if at any time you want to join in, please reach out to us um, and we will arrange to have the supplies dropped off to you and then you can have fun catching up and you'll be able to watch it over and over and over and over again if you choose to because we are so fun that we are that we are <laughs> i just realized i'm wearing my um yeah toilet paper earrings didn't i say i wasn't artsy yeah Monique is very I artsy i made these she is very yeah. artsy and we're looking forward to being artsy with you because this is an excellent excellent program it's so much fun and we really hope that you guys are excited and eager to come and do the tree of life with us right absolutely all right see you guys soon bye bye